Okay, so I'm alive. He's alive. I don't know if you know, we arrived in uh, Jason Muir not last night, the night before. Um, but I literally spent that night and the whole of yesterday dying in bed. It's known as the Golden City because of sandstone. And um, yeah, it's, we're in a desert now. So yeah, well, tonight we are going to do desert safari. And today we are probably just going to go see the fort. But yeah, the desert safari starts at just after 2. So I'm really excited for that. That's the main attraction to do in this place. This is one of the smallest towns and medicine is hard to come by here. So if you do ever come here, be careful. Make sure you bring a lot of medicine. Effervescence is unheard of. The only thing they really have here is cough syrup and antibiotics. So be careful. Make sure you bring some medicine. So everything is made out of um, sandstone, which is absolutely insane. The architecture is mind-boggling here. So just just a, just a quick note. This is one of the few forts, if not the only fort, I don't know, I'm not great at history, that people actually live inside the fort. So that's why you'll see a very busy and thriving fort um, and very different, i.e. litter, but that's in here. stop for the desert safari little excursion and we're at an ancient abandoned village so randomly this village just left over one night look there are some reasons drought there was an earthquake as among some other things so yeah just people think it's like a, an abandoned a little haunted little place I don't know because everyone left overnight but yeah let's go check the little village out the dogs here yeah? Baby, beautiful dog. Hello, my baby. So they have dropped us off at a camel home but yeah we're in the middle of the desert now so you go on a little road for about two to three k's and then it's just desert so we are on pretty much sand um, yeah and this is where the camel stay so our next stop now now that we've stopped along the way to see some amazing little ruins and little villages we now will be going to ride on the camels It's 10 to 6 and uh, it's actually been a stunning, stunning afternoon. I'm feeling so much better. And we actually, even though the sun sets and you can just see the sand dunes every to this direction, they let the, the camels rest and just roam and eat. I like to see the animals be looked after, which is one of the reasons why we decided to do this and through the, the exact company that we use but the reason why we actually chose them was because they're well known for looking after their camels uh, we won't do any tourist event if there's any sh sign of neglect for the animals so it's really nice <laughs> the 
Jain temple. It's the main thing to actually do here in uh, Jaisalmer. And look, it's not so bad. It's 200 Indian rupiah to get in, but it's actually really worth it. The carvings and the details on the temple is actually insane. quiet eh? for, for India, it's really quiet and there's fish in the water. How? I don't know because India is the capital of the world but they're catfish so really cool for that. So how insanely beautiful is this? There's a perfect example of Jai Sumir where you have someone asking for chocolate or candy, candy and cows and beautiful architecture and stinky smells but amazing. So, um, this is actually a really awesome little street. Discovering those really quiet little streets where the residential homes are. Getting off the main road and getting into these quiet little streets and it's amazing. Rule number one for India, earplugs. Rajasthan. Um, it's called Lassiwala and uh, it is proper nice. Like originally when you look at it, it's got the thick layer of like gunk and you're like oh but it's actually so 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 good uh, and you can see all the copies next next to them so yeah make sure you don't go to the copies and you go to the original original place. After your meal, they'll give you these guys. Apparently, it's really good for digestion. Um, I think pretty much that that is just sugar. These are like what is it? Aniseeds, I think. Some 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 aniseeds, I think maybe. Like licorice. Mm, it tastes exactly like licorice. Good for digestion, apparently. Didn't know sugar was good for digestion. And head to the airport to make our way to Goa, where you probably won't be getting any of this food anywhere. So it's been amazing. Um, need a bit of a half break and check in Goa. 